Honoured Chairman of the Institute, Mr. Muhammad Yusufwani, esteemed Principal, Mr. Mehraj Deen Zargar, our revered guest, Dr. Safdar Kudus, Research Scientist, Science and Engineering and Research Board of India, our colleagues in the cause of quality education from across the valley, and their teammates. I, Fiza Qureshi, on behalf of Green Valley Educational Institute, welcome you all to this informative, innovative, and extremely beneficial gathering. Before moving ahead, I would request our honorable chairman, sir, to present a, love of, a token of love, thanks, and honor to Dr. Sabda Kudus in the form I Okay, uh, so uh, I really appreciate Jazakallah Khair for inviting me firstly. Uh, whatever things are, but uh, invitation is always an invitation. Uh, unless invited, so, uh, it's very difficult to be uh, interact. It's very difficult to interact firstly, so it's a pleasure uh, for me, and indeed it's a pleasure for me uh, uh, that uh, I could meet and I'm meeting you all. Uh, obviously, uh, the purpose that we are meeting is basically a kind of revival for mathematics, like how we are teaching in schools. Actually, uh, how can we approach our students? Obviously, uh, there is a lot of gap. I mean, there are a lot of gaps in, in fact, not just mathematics. Uh, okay. Do you agree firstly? Right? Uh, I might say something that we might not have an agreement, so there is no point talking beyond that. But do you agree that our students, our children, are not that great or not that good in theoretical sciences? All of you? Yeah. Those who disagree, can you raise your hands? Or raise your voice? Okay, right. Raising voice is difficult than raising hands, right? Okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, so it's a okay, fine. So they are not that good, right? So, uh, do you think it's a necessity uh, that we should have uh, this kind, these kind of theoretical sciences in us uh, uh, as cognitive skill in us children and our students? Is it necessary for us? Or without that also we can survive, we can flourish. Do you think we can flourish without that? Establish to understand those, those theoretical sciences so that that is applicable in some sense or the other for the society. So in some sense, even if they are not making or creating those, those theoretical knowledge, um, whatever uh, they have to understand at some point for that to be applicable. But actually what your problem suggests is that they cannot think. They do not have a proper way a uh, uh, proper way to, uh, to to attack a problem or to understand a problem. Okay? These Okay? Firstly, interest. Secondly, this. Okay. We'll cater to these two problems which you yourself have uh, you know, illustrated, right? It's not that I try to. Uh, exactly. What you have, how do you motivate your student? Or your students are motivated by what kind of examples? That is necessary. precision. You need to be really pinpointed. Yes, if you think very precisely, very concretely, concisely, the statements are concise and precise, then it's a good My principal, esteemed one, ma'am, to please be on the days and present a token of respect to Dr. Kudus from Green Valley Education Institute. May we have you here, sir? All of us there are there in the cause of removing the fear psychosis and making mathematics more interesting the better it will be, particularly for Umar.